Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. Today we are going to be doing Galaxy Opal Kareem Abdul Jabbar gameplay. And I know I'm coming at this from a different angle, um, looking at this card a little bit differently than I typically do in a gameplay, but that's because I want to compare this Galaxy Opal Kareem to the Dark Matter Kareem to see how close they are and basically see if. Basically, if you can't afford the Dark Matter Cream, is this Galaxy Opal Cream going to give you 90 to 95%, even close to 100% of what that Galaxy Opal Cream gives you? And that's what I'm here to figure out, basically, by comparing these two cards on 2KTB. But before we hop into this gameplay, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're about five subscribers away from 1,400. Trying to hit that in the very near future, and I'd really appreciate your support if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. But um, without further ado, let's hop into it. Let's look at this Cream's stats and badges, compare him to the other Cream, and then we'll hop into some freestyle and some gameplay and see what the card is, how he performs forms on the court but um yeah that being said kareem is 99 offense 99 defense obviously 7 foot 2 is 7 foot 5 wingspan same exact as his galaxy opal um it does look like he's going to have the old kareem player build on this card which i think is a smaller player build we'll have to take a look at that in the freestyle same hot zones as the other cream just all every hot zone except for the top three and then when you look at his stats he's got a 76 shot three which is a little bit low i think that's lower than the opal but i will compare him to the opal in a second um, 85 driving dunk as well, 92 speed, 87 speed with ball, 92 acceleration, really solid defensive stats, 93 rebounding, um, looks like a good card. Hall of Fame Showtime, he has the ability to get the shooting badges that he doesn't come with, like range extender, flexible release, dead eye. Hall of Fame quick first step, bailout, downhill, which is nice to see, unpluckable and gold as well is important because you can't buy that badge in the auction house. You're going to want to add, add a badge like handles for days and dimer to this card as well as angle breaker. Those three badges you're definitely going to add, want to add to him. And then defensively, he looks pretty complete, coming with a lot of Hall of Fame defensive badges. Looking at his jump shot, he's got jump shot 21, which is the same jump shot as the um, Dark Matter on very quick. Same jumper as the Dark Matter. Same dribble six, it looks like as well as pro six behind the back, pro six between the legs, pro one size up. Um, and he looks like a very, very good card overall. Just just a low three-pointer. But I do want to compare him to the other Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and just see how he compares. He's got 17 Hall of Fame badges, or only 40 Hall of Fame badges instead of 42. Um, and that was two on gold. What are those two Hall of Fame badges? Let me see. It's Defensive Leader and Trapper. So not two crucial Hall of Fame badges. He basically has the exact same Hall of Fame badges and gold badges as the Dark Matter, which is good to see. And then you look at his stats, and they're significantly worse in terms of the slashing somewhat worse in terms of its defense some, somewhat significantly worse in terms of defense i don't feel like this rebounding matters that much um slightly lower speed but that's not or ball handle but with a shoe that doesn't matter um the passing stats don't matter the slightly lower three-pointer shot does matter the free throw doesn't matter much offensive consistency doesn't really matter vertical doesn't matter that much or strength or stamina or hustle so really the main area that you're going to notice a decrease in this in the screen is probably the slightly lower three-pointer the worst slashing stats and some of the worst defensive stats so he definitely isn't as good as the dark matter but he does look like a very very good card and if he winds up going for 25 sorry between 25 and 50 thousand mt and you want to use a cream abdul jabbar but don't want to pay up the 150 200 thousand mt it may cost to get the dark matter this may be a really really good option for you so without further ado let's hop right into freestyle and see what the card is all about all right hopping into freestyle this uh kareem he looks actually bigger than i thought he was going to look with this old kareem player model he moves just like kareem he looks a little bit shorter just simply because he doesn't have the afro but i don't think it's going to be really much of a difference maker uh he still looks like he moves very well like kareem's uh, dark matter is one of the is one of the best slashing cards in the game he moves absolutely incredibly and this kareem looks like he moves phenomenally as well which is which is definitely nice to see um He's going to slash at a very high level, it looks like, which is nice to see, obviously. Um, but I am very excited to use this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar card. Let's see how his jumper feels, if it is greenable. It's probably not going to be easy to green it off from the top with only a 76.3, no three-point shoe on him. Not without adding some of those extra three-point badges that you're going to want. But we will try to shoot a couple three-weeks with him. I probably will do mostly slashing with this card, but it is the exact same release. You add three-point grinches to this card, those three-point badges. He should be relatively knocked down from the corners, able to smack some lights on an unlimited difficulty. And you'll green with him relatively consistently, especially from the corners and from the mid-range area. But without further ado, let's hop right into an unlimited game and see what this ream can do. All right, hopping into this unlimited game, we're going up against a sweat. I know this dude. Grant Hill, Kawhi, Brandon Ingram, Paul Millsap, KD. I wasn't really trying to set for this with this ream, but hey, we'll hop into. It. Let's go. Good D, first possession board. Good stuff, Kareem. Let me get in my freelance real quick. I'm being pressed. Oh, that's so annoying. Everybody want to sweat me today, huh? Blow by, look at Reem, yes sir, half show, Tom slam to start the game. The thing about that I like about Reem is how fast he moves. He moves so well on the court. 
I'm tired of dudes sweating the life out of me. They see my I think half of these dudes see my name and they just decide they're going to sweat me. Green Bean, good shot, Green. He is still capable of greening, even with a low three-pointer. Which just annoys me. Like, I, I don't think I'm that known in the community, but, like, there I'll play dudes who I know I've played before and they, like, see my name and they just want to sweat me. Even though I'm just trying to record a gameplay. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Good move, Reem. He's just, he's just trying to bump every possession. See? It's just annoying as hell. It's fine. Come on, send me a screen, Reem. Slash the rim. Wide open for mid range. Good shot, Reem. Let's go. He's got all seven of our points so far. We just got to get a couple stops. Good block, Reem. Yes, sir. I like it. Blocks it off of KD as well. That's good stuff. That's great defense. See, Reem is going to give you really good defense, really good slashing, and the ability to shoot just a little bit. He's not a great shooter, but he is going to be able to do it at least enough to become a, to be a threat. You know what I mean? Like, you have to respect him. Wide open shot. Good. It's pass. Reem is playing really well, really well this game so far, which is what you love to see. So that's a bump. 2K didn't give it to me. That's good D, though. I tried to get there. That's deep. Board. Good stuff. Push. That's a dunk. Let's go. Good pass, Reem. I like it. It's a great start to this game. Good D. Let's go. Space the floor. Yup. I don't know what you're guarding. Nothing. A wide open. Let's go. Good shot. This guy's a sweat. It's just tough to record gameplays against sweats because they just sweat you the whole time. And it's hard to focus on using one card against somebody who's trying to take advantage. Why are y'all doubling? What in the... That's not a bump. Good block, Reem, baby. I like it. He's playing really good defense so far. It's good stuff. Good D. Look at Ferry getting in the lane, bumping that. Dude just want to sweat me. Good D. I mean, good pass. Let's go. Let's go, Reem. Good stuff. Assist. He's got glass cleaning takeover. Not the takeover you want to see, but he does still have takeover. Let's see if he can keep on hooping for us. Get the ball into Ferry. Throw it back door to Reem. Yes, sir. Good show, time slam. Let's get it, Reem. Let's get a stop here. We can go into the quarter up by one point. Good D. No way. No way. Yep. Good defense. Let's go. One point lead going into the second quarter. Board. Good. Get it to Reem. Space the floor. He's going to double me. I know you're going to double. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, sir. Showtime slam me. Let's go, Reem. He's got 11 points on five of six. He's hooping so far. Now I need y'all to play some defense. And get a hand up. Good, Giannis. Let's go. Blow by to the rim again. Showtime slam me again. Yes, sir. Let's go. We're getting close to team take again. Reem is absolutely hooping that so far, which is what you love to see. He's doing exactly what, what you would want the Dark Matter to do, which is really what I wanted to see out of him. Can he basically be the Dark Matter for cheap that's and he's doing a great job so far. Great D. Yep. That's great defense. That's fine. We're good with that. We'll live. That was good defense. Hit the pop. Yep. Blow by. All right, we got takeover with other players. We got to use it. Why not, bro? I mean, I got I got to use takeover with other players. Right? I can't just be using Reem on every possession. If I got sharp take with my best players, we got to use that. Slash the rim for me, Reem. Good finish, Reem. I like that. Over to D-Rob. That's a good, good finish. That's where he's using his size. You really like to see that. Good defense. Yep, that's great defense. Let's go. Board. Get it up to Reem. Slash the rim for me, Reem. You're bigger and faster than him. Good stuff, Reem. Let's go. He's got takeover again up to 17 points as well. Y'all see how well he's hooping. He's playing really, really good. All right. We just got fair. We just got Kareem back in the game. Four-point lead. This dude's been sweating the hell out of me, which is all right. It's fine. But we're going to have to make him pay now. 
real quickly. Slash the rim. Good stuff. Like I like that assist. He's got 25 and 5. Reem has played well this game. I really like what he's been able to do. I've shot so well, and this guy's just kind of gotten bailed and kept him in the game, which is annoying. But nothing I can really do about it. It is what it is. It's a good take. Good, de good take by my opponent. We're good. Still a four-point lead. Let's try not to throw it. I don't know why he didn't come back to the ball, but it's fine. Oh, my Lord. He tried to sell me. Okay, Benjamin. I see you. Let's go, Ben. Ben can carry us down the stretch. I'm fine with that. We'll live. That could have been a bomb. You got to cut that off better. Oh, good D. Let's go. He just he delayed him long enough to, to, to get a stop. That was going to be a stop for Reem, too. Get the ball back to Reem. Yes, sir, Reem. I like it. Too big. Let's go. I wish he could speed boost. You're definitely going to want to, if you use this card, you're going to want to put a speed a, a speed shoe or a, a ball control shoe on him just so he can speed boost. But he's already very good. Like, he doesn't need it per se. But if you're trying to use him as a primary ball handler in terms of his slashing and stuff, I'm definitely going to recommend putting a speed a, a ball handle shoe on him. Get it ahead. It should be a free dunk. Yeah, you, okay. Uh, I mean, it went in. We'll take that. I meant to dunk the ball, but we'll take that. Up by eight, 34 seconds left. This should be a, a GG. Why not? For three. Come on, Reem. That's fine. GG's to this dude. Uh, he was a sweat. Definitely was getting bailed, but that's fine. Kareem had 29 points, 5 rebounds, 14 to 16, 1 to 2 from 3. He played really, really well. Honestly, I like this card a lot. Let's hop right back into the main menu and review the card. All right. In conclusion, this Reem was really, really good. He's basically the Dark Matter Light, is what I would say, which is kind of what we expect of this card. You're definitely going to want to add a ball handle shoe to him if you're going to use this card, um, just because it'll help him move better with the ball in his hands. Um, also, shooting, like if you could find a three-point ball handle shoe, that'd be really, really good for this Kareem card. He's not a great shooter by any means, but he definitely gives you 95% of what the Dark Matter does. He's a very, very solid card. He's going to be cheap. If you want to use a Kareem Abdul Jabbar card, have fun with him and have a center who's a top center in the game in terms of slashing and defending um who is a little bit limited at times in terms of shot creation and shooting um this is a great option like kareem is gonna be a really fun card for budget ballers this is an absolutely studly center who can compete with the top centers in the game especially on the defensive end and rebounding he can be an elite center in that aspect but um yeah if you did enjoy this video please make sure you hit that like button leave a comment let me know what you thought of the video what you think of this kareem abdul jabbar card and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already since i'm dropping content every single day and i really appreciate all the support i appreciate everybody for watching and that's gonna do it for this video we'll be back with more 2k content very very soon appreciate y'all Peace.